tutorial shows how to use Talon's Component Designer to rapidly develop components for Talon Open Studio. You can always hand edit the files that make up a component, but you have to suffer through long restarts of the application in order to get those components to refresh. Rather, it's better to use the Component Designer so that you can refresh the items in the palette and use them in jobs without the long restart. To do this, use the Component Perspective. This is available from the Windows Open Perspective. And to use Component Designer, there are two key settings. In your preferences, you need to have a folder set for the component project. This is where the Component Designer will write out its generated code. And you'll also need to tell the IDE where to pull from uh, these components. Uh, and you'll provide a second folder. Now in development, these folders are the same, but in a production environment, you might have a component folder cordoning off custom code to protect your installation while you don't care so much about the component design folder. To build a component, you simply select New, New Component, and begin filling out some of the screens that will be the basis for your deployment descriptor. I'll call this one Hello World 2. This will load a component called Hello World 2 in the sample family. And see that it's created. Now I right click and I do push components to palette. The palette's refreshed. Now I go over to designer and I'll test out the component. Now once that refresh takes place, I can go back into the designer perspective and create a job. And under sample is the T Hello World 2 component. Drag that onto the canvas. And I'll use a T row generator. Drive it. And the T Hello World 2 gives me a single parameter that I can set in the advanced settings over here. Configure the T row generator component. and the job runs. Now to edit the Hello World 2 component, you just go back into your component perspective, uh, make your changes to your files. These are all auto-generated files. And then republish it to the palette. So it's a very flexible way to create components. You can always hand edit, and components give you the ability to pull in a library. So if your component is very complicated, you might have some simple Java Jet and rely on heavily on a jar, and that can be worked with too as you work with the XML descriptor.